fans, welcome back to NWA on Fire, where this week we will travel to the Body Slam Wrestling Organization in Elmwood Park, New Jersey, and you will see Joy the Bull battle Ray Ray Mars for the U.S. Championship. You'll also see Ida in a ladies match, a classic match featuring Dory Funk Jr., and then Richie Rotten. Fans, don't go anywhere! Everybody, to another night of exciting wrestling with the BWO and the NWA with my co-host Yanni Harder. Tommy Savaldi, I'm ready tonight. We are kicking things off here on NWO on Fire, bringing us BWO on Fire with the United States Championship Contest. This is a huge match. This is last chance for Double R Ray Ray Mars. You know, Tommy was a few weeks ago on this program where Ray Ray Mars won a big triple threat contest with Preacher and Marker Dillinger. And you know, before that contest, Ray Ray Marks was not able to get another United States Championship match, but after that big win on this program, they gave him one last chance at the United States Championship. And Double R, a two-time former United States title holder, he has one last chance, and can he do it here tonight? You know, I heard Tommy that Ray Ray Marks is dedicating this contest to his Asbury Park brethren of the East Street Band, Clarence Clemens. He wants to bring the bell home back to Asbury Park and show that Clarence Clemens' memory will be shown justice with a big win tonight for the United States title. Well, let's see what happens, Johnny Boy. It's sort of be exciting. And you know, you know, Joey the Bull has his wild card, Tony Schaff, but oh, look at this! Ray Ray Mars has hired someone to watch his back for his contest. The arch rival, the arch nemesis, the Lex Luthor to Tony Schaff Superman, Bob Arian, out in the ring, he is looking to accompany Double R Mars, and he has a steel chair in what hand. I, that's what I was. That was my next question, Johnny. What is he doing with that chair in his hand? What's that all about? He's looking to protect Ray Ray Mars. You know, for Tony, for every Tony Scoff Kane, we got a Bob Arian chair. Can Double R Mars with Arian neutralizing Tony Scoff get the job done? Can he become a three-time? And that's the only time this could happen if he does it. A three-time United States champion. Here's the challenger, Anthony, take it away for the champion. He hails from Brooklyn, New York. He is accompanied to the ring by Tony Scott. Ugh, just hearing that name for a time. Yeah, Tony Scott. Yeah, Tony Scott. He is. Tony Scott. He is. He got to go there. We don't know. You know, Tony Scott has been quoted on saying that this man has beat up Frank Sinatra back in 55. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Now, you're talking to the wrong guy here. You're looking at a guy here that worships Frank Sinatra. I know. I, I had to tell you that, Tommy. You know, I want to see your reaction I don't know that. about that. But if you want a man that doesn't worship Sinatra. I got to tell you something, boy. If he did beat up Frank Sinatra back in the 50s, he wouldn't be on this side of the earth right now. Absolutely, but you want a man who is currently on this realm in this dimension. It is the United States champion, Joey the Bull, the two-time BWO United States champion and the only BWO triple crown holder holding every belt the BWO has had in its existence. He's a big boy, isn't he? That's 295 from Brooklyn, New York, the Italian Express. Joey the Bull, he is about his one speed, that's full speed ahead, and he's looking to get the job done. Can he successfully defend his belt in Double R's last chance at the United States Championship? It's going to be something to see. And all you NWA fans at home, and I BW, I did it again. IWE, IWE, Tom, I you're getting so excited. You know what? There's so many letters involved in this. You know, I just went so far the in future, school. The future. I never really <laughs> learned the entire alphabet. Uh, so the, when I'm going IWE, BWUIE, I'll get it right. Oh, you're guys. getting so excited over the alliances that we are displaying the BWO, the NWA of Fire, the IWE, all in one alliance to bring I the fans Johnny, the best wrestling. Johnny, Johnny, I'm getting excited because, you know, this is the most exciting thing that's happened to professional wrestling in a long, long time. Absolutely, and the United States Championship on the line. Can Double R Mars win it back for a third time in his last chance, or can Joey the Bull have the dynasty represented in full effect and successfully defend that U.S. belt? And, you know, speaking of the dynasty of destruction, oh, look at Double R Mars, disrespected by Tony Scott. That's ah. Whoa, look at the locomotive ah. bull over the top ah. rope. He's very upset. You know, speaking of the dynasty, later on the night, Tommy, you know, the leader of the dynasty of destruction, Richie Rotten, will be in action. You know, I hope Richie Rotten brings it, brings it on because the BWO is very upset with him. He's recently off suspension. 
you know, and, and, and then the end of being on fire with some of Richie Rod. You know, I can't believe he just joined forces with the Rock God. I see, can't believe it. Did you see that last move he pulled on him? Did you see the way he reversed that? He oh, knew he, he was coming and brought him right over that top rope. Did you see that? Oh, and I that's did. a big man to bring over the top rope. He's not such a big guy, this guy, you know, but he's built pretty well. But compared to this other one, oh, look at this. Ray Rock showing that quickness. These two men have been going back and forth with each other on the BWO circuit in the past several months, probably the whole 2011. These two men are, they two men hate each other. Irish whip, and here it comes. Ray Rock throws Springsteen splash from Double R Mars. And now Mars, he's looking to keep it going here, hooking that leg behind the bull. Oh, look at that big backdrop. Hit his head flat on that mat. Nicely done, Tommy, but we'll be right back with more action. This is Bob Kahn, the con man from NWA on fire. Listen, fans, if you want to get involved, you want to host a fundraiser free of charge, not a dime out of your pocket, all you have to do is go to nwaonfire.com, click on the email link. nwaonfire at aol.com. doesn't cost you a dime. You can get involved, make some money for your organization. Get involved, have some fun, make some cash. NWA on Fire presents the Summer Heat Tour 2011. On Sunday, August 7th, NWA on Fire invades Augusta Outpost 964 for a Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. start. On Monday night, August 8th, NWA on Fire returns to Mexico, Maine for a night of chaos, bell time, 7 p.m. And then on Tuesday, NWA invades the Topsom Fairgrounds, showtime, 7 p.m. Fans, you don't want to miss one minute of the Summer Heat Tour 2011. Be there! Don't you just hate it when stray animals make a mess of your yard? You don't want to hurt them, but you still don't want them around. What you need is the Bell & Howell Solar Powered Animal Repeller. It uses a high-pitched sound that's unpleasant to animals to rid your yard of pests, like rabbits, mice, deer, raccoons, skunks, even stray cats and dogs. Humans can't hear it, but the sound drives pests away and keeps them away for good. The built-in infrared motion detector activates it, both in daylight and even at night. It easily mounts to any surface, and it also also comes with its own mounting stake, so you can place it anywhere. It works from up to 30 feet away. It's weatherproof, and since it's solar-powered, it never needs batteries. Bell & Howell's solar-powered animal repeller is yours for just $29.95. So order yours now. To order your animal repeller, call 1-800-936-5300 or send $29.95 plus shipping and handling to Animal Repeller, P.O. Box 3700, Palm Desert, California. But for quicker service, call 1-800-936-5300. NWA on Fire presents the Summer Heat Tour 2011. On Sunday, August 7th, NWA on Fire invades Augusta Outpost 964 for a Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. start. On Monday night, August 8th, NWA on Fire returns to Mexico, Maine for a night of chaos, bell time, 7 p.m. And then on Tuesday, NWA invades the Topsom Fairgrounds, showtime, 7 p.m. Fans, you don't want to miss one minute of the Summer Heat Tour 2011. Be there! Back here in the American Legion of beautiful Elmwood Park, New Jersey. So we are in the middle of the United States Championship Contest during commercial breaks. Been all double our Mars. Let's see if you can keep it going. New oh! Jersey Jam, nicely done by Ray Ray. Double leg drop. Bull pushes him right off. That's not going to do it with the bull. I tell you that. Ray Ray Mars might have the height advantage. It was all about the power, and Joey the Bull's got all that power. That's why he's the United States Champion. But I've never seen this before. Bull begging for mercy. I don't believe this. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Bull cut him off with that running knee to the midsection. And now Joey the Bull looking to keep it going here. Got him by his hair. Big, big, big elbow to the face. Oh, look at that chop. Oh, boy. I'm surprised the top half of his body still connected. Chops are back on the menu. Joey the Bull. Bull loves his strikes. He'll chop you. He'll club you to the max. Oh, look at oh come on, Scott. You know, Tony Scott just scoffed Ray Ray Mars. And that Scoff knocks his man, Tony Scoff. What a jerk. I'm sorry, I mean Scott have a long history. We don't like each other. <laughs> I don't think so. But right now, Joey the Bull oh, back with those chops. Shot. And you can see the wealth. The wealth starting to form on Double A's chest. Look and at this Scott with that with that cane on the outside of the rope. That's uh, what I'm looking Bob at. Bob Arian on the outside, neutralizing Scott, just bets his abilities with that steel chair. But the cane is easily neutralized by that steel chair. Well, right. I'm looking for these two managers to get into it. Oh, there's that club, you know, Joey the Bull. He's a, oh, good grief, Scott. Oh, you're the, the nursing home. 
Oh, uh, class act, Tony Scott. Class act, that Tony Scott. Oh, look at that. Body spam. He's going for the pen. One, two, no. Yeah, I, I got so disturbed by Tony Scott's face, that image right there. That I got to take away from the match for a moment, but Joey the Bull keeping it going here. Nice rear chin lock. Simple but effective. You know, he's got that knee dug into the back, the shoulder blades. You know, there's the crowd. They love Ray Ray Mars. They love Ray Double Ray R here Mars. in Elmwood Park. I tell you what, Ray Ray Mars is showing me a little something. He's holding his own against Joey the Bull. He is, but Bull has the advantage right now. Can he get back to his knee? Ray Ray trying to counter those back elbows. You know, Bull trying to hook that arm so he can't get the back elbow. Off the oh. rope. Comes, oh, misses with that big clothesline. Misses with a chop. Picks him up. Big body slam. Down goes the ref. One, two. No, no, no. What a power slam by Joey the Bull, the United States champion in full effect here. Scott saying, Joe the ref, count faster. Joe the ref's doing a fine job. It was a two count. Mars got out of there in the last possible second. He sure did. But right now, the Italian Express, Joey the Bull, looking to do some more damage with a big boot right to the back. Oh, got his foot right on his throat. Come on, Rip, you can't have that. Look at that size 12 boot right into the larynx region of Double R Mars. Yo, Joey the Bull has been fully effective in this contest using those strikes and those illegal tactics. Uh, come on, referee, that's an illegal hold. But see, he knows he's got a five count, so he's not letting loose so far. I know I know how these guys work, Johnny. Absolutely, you're the, you're the man who knows the fish ain't better than anybody. Oh, you know yeah. they have to do things in the ring. I trust you judging on that, Tommy. But right now, the Bull, the big left boot right into the chest cavity of Double R Mars. And there's a cover. No, no. Boy, I tell you, this Ray Ray can take it, can he? Oh, I've seen these two men Boy. battle each other up and down the BWO circuit. You know, Joey the Bull has delivered TKOs to this man on the floor, in the ring, on a chair. And Mars keeps going. He keeps fighting. But even right now, with the United States title on the line, after that chop, I don't know how much... Ray Ray Mars can Anybody take it. Like cool like I tell you, for a man of his stature, he's really taking it. I tell you, he can hand it out too. Be quiet. Nice Look forearm strike Angelotti. from the bull. Make that a pair. Bull will just hit you. He doesn't care. Oh, look and at I, that chop. You know, look at that chop. He just about came his chest in on that one. You know, the, the, the chest of Ray Ray Mars is looking quite raw. It might be a staph infection starting to develop if he's not careful. TKO. Oh, no, reversal. Mars, Mars with a counter. He's got that dragon sleeper hook. He got a dragon sleeper, bull rams him into the turnbuckle. Boy, I tell you what, he's lucky he did that. And now Bull just digging those boots in, digging those deep boots. Oh, big forearm to the side of the head. Bull's not necessarily a finesse guy. He's not a catch as catch can specialist. He just throws those strikes, no. and they're so vicious. Yeah, and I tell you what, he's not much of a technical wrestler, but he's a bam, bam. I tell you, he's in there, he's looking to destroy you. He's not looking to beat you. He wants to hurt you. Right now, Bull putting Mars on that top turnbuckle. He's looking to do some more damage, Tommy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Referee I, Joe the Ref telling him, get down, get down. I tell you, this Ray Ray can take some punishment, can he? See, that's the thing. Like you, I believe you said this on occasion. Those lanky guys, they have a lot of heart. Those wiry guys. Oh, they can oh. take it, I tell you. Oh, good grief. Mars going to be taking a super place if he's not careful. Look at this. He's not done yet. Oh, down goes the bully. Caught him. Flush on the side of the head. What a move from Ray Ray Marsh trying to neutralize Bull as best he can. Boy, that rang his belt. Diving Lariat off the top, and he hit Bull hard. They're both down now. Folks, man, this has been a great United States Championship contest. We'll be right back with more United States Championship contests. For daily updates on NWA On Fire, find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Head on over to www.